Hi everyone, it's Vicky. Hope you're well. So you'll remember the other day I did um, some a video with the turnabouts from Concord and Ninth. So I wanted to show you what I did with the other one that I made and also an inked background I used to make a couple of cards using this great die from, it's a moonstone die from Hunky Dory. Um, so it just says a little bit older, a lot more fabulous. So I've run that through my die cutting machine, but before I did, I used some of that stick it on the back. So it turns it into a sticker, which will make it a hell of a lot easier when it comes to assembling this. So I'm going to be using Tattered Rose, Milled Lavender and Shaded Lilac Distress Oxides for this. And I've just cut my piece of paper down, or card rather, down to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to start with that uh, rose colour up in the top corner. And I'm going to slowly blend it down through the shades from the top left down the bottom right. I'm just adding a bit of ink at a time with this. Um just to go roughly a third of the way down from that corner. Um, again, I do apologise that my camera is a little bit shaky. It keeps happening. Short of getting a new desk, unfortunately, there's nothing I can really do about it. <laughs> um, so please do bear with. I hope that the results will be worth it in the end. Um, so I'm bringing in that shaded lilac now and I'm just slowly blending those in together. So I'm trying to get that to cover the next third of this corner or oh, section the middle section of this third um, and what I'll do is I will go backwards and forwards between that colour and the wilted rose just to try and get that blend line a little bit nicer because it looks a little bit messy to me right now and I like it to look nice um, so bear with me while I do that once that one's done I'm going to bring in uh, the final colour and then I'm going to blend that one in from the bottom corner and this one, for some reason, this ink pad seems to be a little bit leaky. There's no other word for it, but leaky. Um, so I finished doing this card and then realised that there was a puddle of ink on my desk. Luckily, it didn't go all over everything, so that made me feel a bit happier. So that's just my blended background. Um, so I cleaned up and put that to one side. So I'm going to take a spritzer and I'm going to spray my cardstock with a little bit of water from a distance and just damp that off just to give it a little bit of a texture at the background and then I'm going to give it one more little spray and do the same again my Christmas kitchen roll <laughs> with little stars on which I really rather love so you'll see that there and then I also have my uh, shimmer watercolors just to the side and um, you can see half of them not the other half so I've already wound up this and I am going to sprinkle some of the purple and some of the pink onto the background um, I did try tapping it. It never seems to work well when I tap it. So I decided to try splatting it off an ink block, um, acrylic block, and that seems to do the trick much better. So that will be my my way forward, I think. So I'm going to spray some more of that purple, and I'm just going to rinse my brush and go in with the pink as well, just to add a little bit of different colour. Um, the pink's a bit fainter. They're very similar colours, but you can see it when you're up close and actually looking at it in person. And so I'm just going to spray that on. And then again, I need to leave this to dry and clean up the mess that I've made. So please bear with while all this dries off. So you'll see this is how that looks. It's got a little bit of water splat and it'll look lovely once I put that nice word centred on it. When it was fully dried, I decided I did want it the other way up as well. But apart from that, I decided to leave it where I was. I've taken a black spectrum noir, so this is true black. And what I've done is I've decided to go around the outside edge using the chisel nib. So what this will do is it'll give it the effect of being matted and layered with some black card without the extra dimension, without the hassle of actually having to do it and using up all my black card. Um, you'll see that some little squiggles came off my pen, some fibres, I think they were actually paper fibres, so I just put those onto another piece of card before I continued because I didn't want to draw all over my piece of card. And this is now being cut down to four and a quarter by five, sorry, four by four, bleh, try again, four by five and a quarter. Um, you'll now get to see me have great fun trying to get the backing off my sticker, <laughs> so wish me luck with that one. Um, once you start, once you find a, a way in, it's quite easy to do. Um, but it does make it so much easier. If I was trying to put glue on there, the glue would have been squirting out everywhere and it just wouldn't look great. So the way the stick it works is that it will give you a little bit of wiggle room. So as long as you don't press down, you've got time. So once it's then exactly how you want it, give it a press down. 
and I always tend to put a piece of card over the top and just take my bone folder just to give it a really good firm press to make sure that's well and truly adhered onto my panel and then this is just a four and a quarter by five and a half note card so I'm going to use some tape and some glue to stick that down once you stick it down and you see the little white board you'll see what I mean about that black line it just makes the whole panel pop a bit more without adding extra dimension and then eventually extra postage which is always good got to think of these things nowadays especially when I when you send as many cards out as we do um <laughs> so I'm just gonna line that up in the middle but as you see it kind of looks like I've put a very fine matte layer on but it would be really hard to get a layer that fine and again I'm just going to give it a quick bone fold down just to make sure that's nicely stuck to the backing card and then that is that card done so I'm going to bring in the other one that I'd also done so that's the dotty background that I made in my last video um and then I've used the same sentiment on there um so it's just to show you how a different background can make quite a difference um but sometimes if you've just got a great sentiment you just need a pretty background in the background you don't need to go too over the top but thanks guys bye